Would you please be upstanding for the worship form? Councillor Denise Michel, Mayor of Glastonbury.
Oh, that is so good. Right, so now that we have these, I'm going to invite Morgana to come up and light our Glastonbury Unity candle. If you would be so good, Morgana. Yes. Do you want to come and light the candle? I would, thank you, your worship. tell us a little bit about it. Can I sit you up here? Yeah? Is that all right? Okay. Um, thank you, Your Worship. And I'd just like to tell you about this magical candle. And thousands of these have now gone out all over the world. And they're very special in that they contain herbs, trees and flowers to be gathered in and around Glastonbury at particular cycles of the moon. Infused into that magic potion is also the Glastonbury Holy Thorn. And the Glastonbury Holy Thorn can be seen as representing the fact that we all have our roots in the earth, but yet we're all stretching our branches towards the same sky. And the Glastonbury Unity Candle represents the fact that we are all different. We all have different beliefs and different ideals. Some things we believe, some things we don't. But the light is the one thing that we're all facing towards. So all those candles all over the world, and this one, every time one is lit, a little spark of magic goes out into the world. So this young man, young man, yeah, <laughs> is going to light the candle for us, aren't you? Do you like to do that? Yeah? So, magic is for young and old, and there are certain things that we only learn when we get a bit older, but we also learn that life is not always exactly about what you can see. So this little bit of magic is going to go out all over the world, and you're doing it. Does that feel good? Yeah? Alright, so I'm going to give you this. And if you put it to the candle, <coughs> and then if you give it to me, thank you very much. If you blow that, make a wish. And what do you wish for? I don't know. You don't know. Can I make a wish? Can I make a wish that there's lots of peace in the world? No. And that we don't fight anymore? Yeah? No fighting, eh? No, no fighting. <laughs> so thank you very much, everybody. That's the beauty thank you for it.
And with that, I would like to thank all of you for coming, all the artists, all the people who've come, children, young and old alike, which was so eloquently said by our, our, our dear mayor. Uh, this is what it's all about. It, it's just absolutely amazing. Magic is a universal experience. This dream of having a festival, a celebration of wonder in what I will certainly suggest and agree is the most magical place on earth is something that just seems like should happen. And with all of your help and all of you being here, we are creating it. As I mentioned this, just this morning on the Facebook page, but history can only happen in the present. It will then be remembered in the future. But make no mistake, we are creating it together now.
Because if we all do our jobs correctly, which I certainly will, all of you will be amazed, amused, and hopefully, truly inspired. Oh, yeah.
And I'm going to ask all of you, if you haven't shared the Facebook page, we have a really well set up Facebook page. It's very simple, Glastonbury Magic Festival. Just real straightforward. If you like and share that, we'll be keeping constant updates throughout the weekend or this historic event. And please let people know, this is not only the first Magic Festival in Glastonbury, it's the first one in England. Wow. Ever. I mean, think about that. This is an entirely new concept. A, a truly an all-inclusive celebration of wonder. Young, old, black, white, gay, straight, Muslim, Christian, atheist. This is what Glastonbury is all about. There are so many things in this world that are trying to divide us. And that's not what it's all about. What we really need is to focus on what unites us. We are all the one. Our, the blood, our blood is our ultimate bond. And magic draws us into an all-inclusive experience. And I once again want to welcome all of you, all of the artists, to this amazing circle. And have a wonderful weekend. high and low, imagining supernatural, and forget the quintessential truth, that magic is always natural. You can hear the disillusioned cry that magic doesn't exist, while it merrily dances before their eyes, and this somehow they've missed. It is woven in the rainbow, in the dream of a butterfly. It dances with the snowflakes and sparkles in the sky. It shines in every sunrise and whispers in the trees. It blooms in every flower and waltzes with the breeze. Ineffable as a twilight dream, a mystery to bind us. And once we open up our hearts, the magic will always find us. to the information on the shows. Uh, we have shows throughout the whole weekend. Wizard School, 